Oh, guys, we're back with Spider-Man 2. Um, last time we got sacked and Sandman terrorized the sea. So let's play more. Really made a mess. Seems like you're getting the hang of that thing. Uh, MJ, since the last time you saw you, 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 you look like you got plastic surgery to that Lord Farquhar. I mean, all that chewing gum must have made your jaw proper sharp. You could cut something with that. Peter, watch out, she might cut your teeth with that. So upon entering Peter's gaff, we've noticed a couple fins. Um, there's food that's been lying out and it's now collecting flies. A bit like Aunt May's rotting corpse. That is too far, I am sorry. But we, 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 we can establish that Peter is a dirty bugger. Peter, mate, I know you're Spider-Man and you're a busy guy, but it's never too late to throw your rubbish away. It's collecting flies, man. That is fucking disgusting. Peter, looking at that bill, you are financially in trouble, mate. I feel sincerely sorry for you. Um, it looks like you're going to be doing more than just Spider-Man in at this point. You need to rob a bank at least. I mean, I know you're great power because great responsibility, but 6% interest, right? And it keeps going up, but month, month, paying four grand monthly. I feel bad for you, mate. Honestly, better get MJ in now, so, pronto. MJ reminds Pete, Peter of all the relatives he's lost by looking through this photo album. Yeah, I need to donate it, but not just yet. Yeah, cheers, MJ. It still smells like me. Peter, I understand you're grieving after your dead aunt, but um, it's not morally correct to sniff her clothes. I know she's dead and all, but she's still your auntie. Is he a threat or a menace? Our phone lines are open. Menace. Definitely a big fat menace. Let me tell you something about Well, Peter, mate, I don't think you should be punching a hole in the wall. I mean, I've seen your mortgage, and it's not looking good. And I think if you punching a hole in the wall, it's just going to make money even more tighter than it is currently. I swear you can't leave this girl two seconds without getting into danger. I mean, what could she go wrong with now? Oh, it's Harry. What's up, mate? I mean, she's just alerted the whole neighbourhood for that fucking scream. Look, me and Peter are only being nice to you, Harry, because we just want the symbiote so badly off you, pal. Just give it to us now, please. I beg. I'm begging you. I just want the power. Is it the same thing your mom had? It was. Past tense. We... Steady, buddy. You say think. It, that's not 100% guaranteed. You're you're gonna be okay. I'd watch out if I was you. Maybe get that checked up once in a while. You have to get to work. Dinner tomorrow. Coney Island. World time's sake. It's a date. Pete, you need to put a chain on your girl. She's fucking asked out on having a date in front of you. You poor bastard. I mean, but look at Peter, man. I'd kill myself if that was me right now. You can tell he's hiding away the pain with that smile. Honestly. I feel quite bad. Sorry for coming by unannounced and all. No, are you kidding? You want to come inside? Actually, <laughs> Harry can already smell the stench of that house. He doesn't mean to go in. He can just smell the fucking mess. He might rather. Nah, I'm alright, mate. My old bike? Nah, I found it on the internet. It's a close match, though, right? Did Harry really spend like 50 quid on this bike just for a sense of nostalgia for one trip only? Oh, make some money, man. Your dad must be so angry. Oh, yeah, sorry, dad. Let me just spend 20, qu 40, 20 or 40 quid on eBay to have one nostalgia trip mild, mate. You sure you're up for this? It's that cigarette daydream. Oh, I could get copyright for this game. Don't understand, like, I've got a channel to run. Oh, ride of the bikes. I feel like, I feel like a kid here. An elderly man I am. You know, a man of my prowess. I shouldn't be riding a bike, I should be in my rocking chair looking out at the little kiddies riding their bikes, not me. I'm too I'm too old. I read about your old boss, Dr. Octavius. That must have been crazy. So Harry must be thinking, oh, another guy Peter's related to is turned uh, turn into a major supervillain. Like it's not the first time, like ha like and conveniently he's a Spider Man it's somebody who hates Spider Man. Like Harry must put two and two together at one point now, come on. I fancy being a dickhead and just riding through. Imagine trying to do yoga and you have me just, <laughs> just like <laughs> They must be very patient. They're very good yoga students, because if I had someone trying to ram a bike into me, I would be very pissed off. <laughs> I just feel like being a dick. I'm just ruining everyone's beautiful day by riding through. Sorry guys, but I'm the main character, no one else. Where the hell are we heading, Harry? What why um Harry, we're not sixteen, we're what, we're not we're not late twenties. I don't think I think going to a fucking high school is a bit dodgy, e even for our age. Why did you bring us here? We both hated high school. 
Tell me what we look like. Even if had those guys like when you leave high school or like secondary school wherever you're from, like they they just they turn up to back to the high school like thinking, Oh, they're gonna have like some standard ovation but really like people think like you left like two years ago, why the fuck are you still here? Like even the teachers they'll be like uh, yeah. Alright, and you got a life, like why why are you still coming back to your old secondary school? Like P Peter and Harry, you don't realise what you're doing right now. You're like the biggest losers of all time. See, this is where I hate rich people. They think they can just break into places without any consequence. Like, you're breaking into a high school. You should be fucking arrested. Peter and Harry, when are we fucking... How old? Jeez, they're like fucking nerds. Ah, oh, reminiscing about the old days when we were young and free to do what we wanted. You know, just high school kids. Now look at me. Alone and depressed. It's not like I'm 18 or anything. Fucking hell. I love being young. Too messy. Ah, I respect that they don't want to make more mess with the janitor. I see that he's working hard. Respect, boys. Even though you're breaking into a school, I think at least at least you're not making a hard job for the janitor. A common game. He definitely saw us. There's no way he didn't miss. Fuck! You just saw the door open. What is it with Peter trying so hard to expose, not to expose? Well, fucking making it obvious that he's secret right, identity, Spider-Man. Like, does, it, has he, does he keep forgetting that there's cameras in every skull? Like, he did it earlier at the start of the game, fucking revs when he's at the top of the stairs, and now he's doing it there. Like, Peter, if I was in this universe, I wouldn't be fucking stupid. I would know you were Spider-Man. Oh, that poor security guard grabbing that substance. He knows he works in a high school. That could be two things. I mean, he works with horny teenagers, so... Yeah, you know... There's no way that guard hasn't seen us. I mean, he, all he just needs to look up at the ceiling. He just sees a grown man or boy crawling. Like, I, I would have spotted that. Like, it's, it's, it's the security guards that fucking this school just... Just blind? Like, what's going on? Ah, uh, yes. Back to the present. No more fucking annoying teenagers. Oh, we're playing a bit of basketball, are we? Well, I've... I, no need to brag, but I'm quite good at it. Yeah, Peter. Are you? Let's do this. Let's show this kid who's boss. Yeah, Peter. That's what I love from you. Show the recently healed terminal Ill kid who's boss. Oh, more flashbacks. I'm sick of playing with these annoying true, little kids, I'm man. Just kill me now. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm done. I'm, I'm sick of it. Just, I can't do it. I'm sick of playing these kids in games. Oh, the security guard. He's just gonna pretend he just didn't see us there. Like, how he's just gonna pretend he just didn't see me spam webs just there. I mean, what did he think I just did? Like, why are people in this universe so fucking dumb and just so stupid? Put two and two together, mate. He's gone. Got lucky with that one. Oh, yeah. I love that little, oh, yeah, just, oh, just so Peter can further curry, cover his identity from Harry. What is this? How did Harry did break into some on? kid's locker? I mean, there are students in this school, like, he hasn't been to this school like nearly 10 years. How did, like, do lockers okay. numbers not change after you leave, what or is it the same? I'm oh, back at these fucking kids again! For oh, fuck's sake, kill doors. me now! There. Where the fuck me now? Police! <laughs> Harry just fucked off and left us to deal with the police. Ugh. Peter, you're such a klutz, honestly. That's just annoyed me. How, how has that dropped out your pocket, jumping up? Oh, I'm pissed off now. Fuck you, Peter. Oh, yes, what a good distraction. I'll just upside down kiss him to get the front drive. Am I getting Rickroll in Spider Man 2? The police are probably thinking, Rickroll? Boys, just get him! Yes, mission successful. We've robbed to high school. Oh, look, our getaway driver's here. Let's fucking escape, boys. It's my dad. Oh, how are you, nerd? You've tattled and lost your dad? For God's sake, we're meant to be cool. Well, that's out the window. Your mother. Jeez, that your mother drug put Harry to his knees. Oh, jeez, yes, Harry, I do remember that day when your dad took the piss out of your mum. Hey, <laughs> I don't remember taking this photo. Well, How'd you get off me? You've been in a coma for over a year. Oh, Craven can already smell Peter's disgusting, smelly house. Now nah, that's a honey he's not ready for. He was not the one. See, Craven gets it. At this point, New York needs, like, air defence. How are they allowing fucking aircraft to just fly into the city landscape? Oh, did I just in, um, intrude on something? Well, um, Peter, what are you doing with your hand, mate? I've been going on some dates. Dating, actually. Dating, you say? Miles' fist just starts charging up electricity. He just then punches his mum across the room. There's no one dating my mum. 
No one's surprised me at that. I'd like to have him over. For Bartelon. I'm sure there's some spider stuff I can be doing. <laughs> yeah, Miles is just like, yeah, I, I ain't trying to hit you, fuck. No, I'd like him to meet you. And I'd like you to meet him. But if you're not comfortable, I totally understand. I can only, only imagine Miles saying, Oh, he's not my dad. He will never replace my dad. Poor bastard. Ah, oh, yes. Fine crime, shan't we forget the fact that my mom's been down to fuck. Keep it moving, Gargan. Shit, even Scorpion can smell Peter's ass. This is what I'm telling you, Peter. You need to clean that household. <laughs> Another thing. Like, the security here is awful. Like, you're letting this guy roam around in his armour, his main source of power, with only two restraints on him. No wonder they break out every year, or every two months to, to be more exact. Alright, oh, take back my words. I've done well with this guy. But Scorpion's no excuse. Alright, Miles, this is how you should be when you see your Miles. your your replacement dad. And Peter cut him some slack, he just found out his mum's down to fuck. I'd be the same. Miles. No, Peter, you don't understand. My mum's been fucking people recently. What did I fucking say? It's been no longer than a minute and the ship's already been fucking invaded. Are you fucking kidding me? What are you doing, guys? You need to be on your A game. This is why Nook's one of the most dangerous places to be, because you lot just let these fucking idiots just come in and just fucking break them out, you fools. Ah, these stupid villains ain't breaking out on my watch. Well, right, since the, since the authorities are useless, it's back to me having to do all this shit again. I think I went a little bit overkill on that one. Jeez, I, I think I killed all of them by doing that. I mean, I know we got a war about killing people, but I just sent them into a mini tornado. You seeing these guys? A lot of money and tech. Yeah, there's no way that man is still alive after that beating he just took. I just revved him and spun him around and slammed him on the ground. He is definitely dead. Ah, uh, Miles, it's about time you finally joined us. I mean, this sort of just makes me like this game of cart mode. I mean, you have two Spider-Mans. I mean, it's the perfect excuse to have it. But it's a shame it's done. I mean, hopefully they put in the third game, but if not, I'll be pissed. I'll have sent that guy into the water to die and drown. Have you guys only just begin to notice this now? There's been explosions and shit and flares gone off in... Just just on the build up here and you guys are only just realising. You think people have a preference when it comes to the two Spider-Men? I mean, like... Say, like, for example, that guy just called out to me. Like, if he knows his Spider-Man's gonna save him. So when you see someone like Miles, he knows he's the new one. Like you'd be like, oh fuck, it's the new, it's, it's the new kid. Like oh, I'm fucked. He, he doesn't know how to do this. No need to fear. The one Spider-Man is here. Oh, you think you can stab me? I'm faster. Oh, come on, Miles. I thought you were like fucking, fucking the, the speed of a spider. How are you allowing him to cut you up in, in two years of experience, you bellend? Oh, is that Dad? Oh, it's bad news. Mum's been DTF. Oh god, mum, stop. Don't fuck that man. No, mum! Now, Miles, me personally, I would just. He killed your dad, I'd let him jam. Miles turned to my favourite superhero. He's actually letting the guy drown. Yeah, fuck off, mate. You killed my dad. Ah, oh, Miles, all playing around with electricity is finally caught up with you. Mate, it's a lesson, kids. Don't play with electricity. Right, it's official. Miles has become a Sith Lord. Hey, if anyone's gonna kill that bastard, it's gonna be me. Oh, I love it. We just caused more harm than good. Oh, Spider Man, I'm not fucking around today. I just launched a guy to the sea whilst just electrocuting him to death. I think most of the people in this city are idiots. Like, they see all this shit going on and decide to still enjoy their day. Like, at this point. The Spider-Man just just let nature take its course because they're fucking incapable of doing normal things. I'm sick of wasting my great power on these idiots. Like Miles, like I'll just be like, oh, do you know what? You lot, you can die. Like I couldn't imagine Peter now calling me up saying, "Hey Miles, what the fuck are you doing? Like we're me we're meant to save these people. Remember what Uncle Ben said, with great power comes great responsibility." And Miles just saying, "Oh, my uncle said, with great power comes great casualties." What did I already tell you? That bastard is mine. Oh fuck. We just made everything worse, didn't we? Miles could not give two fucks. He would let these kids, all these people, just get crushed and ripped apart by the propellers because he's on, he, he'd rather beat the fuck out of this guy and kill his dad. I rate it to be fair. Imagine this guy with the symbiote. He would be a demon. 
There's no way you're not telling me that he's been ripped in half or like killed from the rip flash of that force. Like, I don't care if he has superpowers. That would have killed him. This is hilarious to me. <laughs> Miles would rather let all these people die. Like Peter's struggling by himself, but nah. Nah, revenge is more important. This guy with the symbiote would make Peter with the symbiote look like a little bitch. Honestly, Miles is the MVP of this fucking series. Alright guys, this is where I'm going to leave um, episode 2 off of Spider-Man. If you're enjoying this series so far, leave, show some love in the comments. I mean, I'm enjoying this series so far. I, I enjoy making up my Spider-Man be like sociopaths, especially with Miles, because he's showing the most potential. We'll just have to wait and see what Peter's like when he has the symbiote. And if you want a part 3, let me know, because I'm loving this series. And if you want me to do sort of styles like this on other games, let me know. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.